Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So in this video, as you've already seen from the title, this is going to be like all about what I did to my ankles. That kind of stuff, well just the one ankle, but what I did twice. Um, so yeah, I think I've only really mentioned it on my vlog channel that like I messed up my ankle um, a couple weeks ago. But yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it so i'm gonna i have it all written down that's why i'm like looking down here because i have it on my computer but i'm just gonna start off with the first time so the first time was in september of 2018 so like it, they were almost exactly a year apart and um basically how i did it was i was playing volleyball like we we were at a game and we were just warming up like it wasn't even the game yet and i was a setter so i was like setting like we were practicing and stuff like that and um the the coach was like she's like oh like use your legs a little bit more and literally like so they threw the ball to me and I went to set it and I like squatted down and my ankle just gave out like because I've already I've always had like kind of weak ankles and stuff like that and um yeah so they just kind of gave out and I fell on the ground and I just started sobbing um, and then I had to get picked up and carried to the bench and then I was sitting there for a while and then I left when we went to the second match and I went to the doctor and so they did x-rays and stuff and it was just a sprain but the issue with sprains are they heal a lot slower because um, there's not as much blood flow to your or not blood flow but like there's not as many blood vessels in your like tendons and ligaments and stuff and so like in a break it would heal faster but in a sprain when it's like your tendons and ligaments and muscles heals a lot slower so yeah so I was out the whole volleyball season but then um I went to another doctor so like they told me to be on crutches for just a week and then I should be fine whenever I went to the ER. But a week had come around and I still couldn't put any weight on it at all. And I was like, okay, this is an issue. Um, so then we went to like my regular doctor and he was like, no, there's no way you're like gonna be on off crutches. So I was on them for another week before I transitioned into a boot. But um, he told me that I had a high ankle sprain and a medial ankle sprain. And the most common ankle sprain is a lateral one. And okay, here, let me show you. Your lateral sprain would be right here, but I had a high sprain, which is here and, ugh, sorry, it burped, and in here. So, yeah, um, which means that I rolled it inside, which I don't know how I did that, but it's what happened. That is also like the least common way to roll your ankle too. I don't know how I did that standing straight up. I'm still trying to figure that out. I... Um, and also those, the medial is what takes the longest to heal. So good for me, you know? Um, so yeah, but then Basically how I healed it was I was just in a boot for like a couple months, which sucked, it was horrible. By the way, my hand says I hurt Luke, he drew that on there, um, just so you know. And um, yeah, so I was in a boot for like a couple months and then I went to a brace and then I went to a like ankle specialist and he just told me that I was weak and stuff like that. He also told me to go to physical therapy, but physical, I went to physical therapy for my shoulder before and it didn't do anything. So we we're like, okay, I'm not going to this. I don't need to. So I didn't do that, but yeah. So um, it was still like, it still hurt and it never like completely really healed, but I just kind of let it go. And then for the second time, which was a few weeks ago, I was leaving Luke's house and my car was parked on a curb and like my like the driver's side like so the side I would get in was on the curb and so I was like going to step into my car and it was farther from the curb than I thought it was so I like my foot slid down and twisted and it made like such a nasty noise um 
but yeah so then I was like driving home and my cruise is broken in my car so I had to like press the pedal the whole time and it was miserable I was literally like crying it was so bad it hurt so bad so then the next day I had marching band in the morning before school so I went to marching band I was trying to march I literally could not walk and I was trying to march and it was just awful and I was in so much pain that like I just like couldn't bear it so then I texted my mom and I was like can I just go home like I school hasn't started yet can I just leave and she was like yeah that's fine and because she like knew about it I told her about it already and so went home and then I ended up going to the doctor and um I was like limping around I was in a lot of pain but I like didn't want to be on crutches so I was just limping around and um when I went to the doctor they did x-rays and I was supposed to go back for another x-ray the week after. I never did that though. Because I just, I knew what I was doing. I had to deal with it before. So I just healed it by myself. But, um, they did my x-ray. But there was too much soft tissue swelling for them to know if it was really broken or not. But they just treated it as a sprain. Which would be treated the same as a fracture anyway. So it really didn't matter. They told me to... They put me in a boot and told me to stay on crutches for three days and then test weight bearing. So I really only used the crutches for like two days and then I went just to like give it a break. And then I went just straight into using the boot and I never went back, but I'll just tell you how I healed it myself because I was like, okay, I don't need to go back. It's fine. So what I did was I just wore the boot for a little while. Then I got tired of it. So then I switched to an air cast, which it's over here. So then I switched to an air cast, which looks like this. This is like a splint type thing. Um, because it basically did the same thing. And I was just tired of wearing the whole bulky boot. And the boot that they gave me the second time that I went looks like this. And you just strap it up like that. Um, and the other boot that they gave me before that was shorter. And you would like strap it, but you also like pumped up a thing in the front. And it made it like puff up more and it supported you better but I did like this one more than the first one that I had but anyway so that's how I healed it and then eventually I just stopped wearing the ankle brace because I was tired of it and I'm just kind of dealing with the pain and just letting it be it's getting a lot better and it's not definitely not as bad as the first time so now we're gonna get into tips of how to like tips with like your ankles and stuff like that. So, so, so. Oh. Oh. First of all, listen to the doctor. If the doctor tells you to stay off of it, stay off of it. If the doctor tells you to rest it, rest it. If they tell you to ice it, ice it. Just listen to your doctor because they have a degree in this. Um, so they kind of know what they're talking about. Obviously, I can't talk too much because I didn't really listen that well, but it's fine. Um, my next tip is that it's okay for people to help you. This is something that I had so much trouble with and that, like, I just could not, like, it is okay for people to help you carry your books when you're on crutches. Like, when you cannot walk and you cannot carry your books, it is okay to have somebody else do it. Like, you'll be fine. Um, if you have people that support you and that want to help you with your stuff, let them. Like, it is okay. I cannot stress that enough. Like, um, so yeah. Um, also, rest and ice is your best friend. Stay off of it as much as you possibly can. Ice it the way the doctor tells you to. Just do whatever you need to do. Just stay off of it as much as you can because that's gonna take care of the best and also elevating it is going to keep the swelling down as well and will keep it like will help it feel a lot better so yeah that's my tips and tricks and my ankle stories from the times that I have messed up my ankle pretty bad so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos every Sunday and I want you to be part of our family, so I hope you enjoyed my little tips and tricks and my stories about my ankle. 
none of the ways that I hurt myself were anything cool. Yeah. But follow my social medias down below and subscribe to my vlog channel and this channel. And I will see you next week.